Hey guys, I know it's been a while since you guys have seen me, and I kind of wanted to give you an update. I know some of you are going to hate the view, but honestly, at this point in my life, I don't really care if it's video or if it's like this, you know what I mean? Like, that's not my biggest concern. Um, I've been dealing with some stuff, and I'm going to go into that as where have I been. So I lost my voice like a month ago because I have kids and my kids like to make me scream and yell. It's part of being a mom, you know what I mean? You say something three times and they don't hear you. But when you scream, apparently, you know, then that's when it gets across. Well, after that happened, I ended up getting sick like a lot of people for about two weeks. It was fever. It was just all around just horrible and so I was stuck in the house for two weeks and unfortunately my husband had to shop and do a bunch of other stuff for me that I just couldn't physically do because I couldn't get out of bed and it was bad so as you can tell my voice still isn't like a hundred percent because even though I'm not sick no more I'm back in mommy mode and you know when you're sick you don't notice everything around you because you just honestly don't care. And then when you're able to actually start moving around, you notice all the things that got neglected. And like when you asked your kids, did you clean your room? And they tell you yes. And then you go in there and you're like, oh my God, right? Um, another reason why I've been gone is last week I got a call. Um, my niece passed away. She had been sober for six months. Um, she was a heroin addict. And she was doing really good. You know what I mean? Like, she had just got done with this program. She was moving to, uh, it was almost like a halfway house for 14 months. She'd be working, living there, and continuing her journey on her sobriety. Um, when she switched something clicked or happened and she ended up leaving there and then a couple days later her body was found and we got the call so for the last week I've been dealing with that um I'm not gonna lie it's been really fucking hard uh because we were tight you know what I mean like I was her aunt but she was more like a sister to me you know what I mean like, we both knew how messed up our family was, and we were always there for each other. Like, I was there for her when her mom died. She was there for me when my mom died, and now she is no longer around, and it sucks. Um, so I've been helping, you know. I'm not going to say I planned the funeral because I, I, I didn't. That's being taken care of by another family member. But I've been there for my brother. Um, I've had some things made by friends to honor what her life was. Not just the part where she was addicted. And it's not been easy. It really hasn't. And it sucks. Because I sit there and I think of all the things that she was. And... How in one moment it changed, you know, when you're dealing with someone that has heroin addiction, it's a love from afar. And that's how it's had to be on and off for years. Like she would get clean for one month, maybe two months and then get back at it again. And I always felt horrible because, you know, I can't have that around my kids. But I want to be there for her, and I can't. So when she got into the six-month program, you know, I was thinking, okay, here we go again. But she stuck it out. Like, she looked good. She looked healthy. Um, she was talking about being a drug counselor and wanting to get her life back on track. And this time, it actually felt like it was going to stick. So when I got the call, I'm just like lost for words, you know what I mean? Like right now I'm even fighting the urge to want to cry. 
because it's so hard to be that close and to be that far from somebody and then in a blink of an eye they're gone and the bad thing about it is not only did she leave her family behind she left three kids behind who will never get to know the person that she was before the drugs who will never get to see their mom when they graduate or when they get married or just when they need their mom because they're dealing with heartache. She won't be there. So that's what I've been dealing with. And... I just wanted to know, let you guys know, I haven't forgot about you. Um, I do want to still make videos because it helps me. Being able to be creative and put something out there. So, give me some time and I will start making videos again. But for anybody out there who's dealing with... Um, heroin addiction go get help you know you may relapse here and there but go get help because no matter if you think your family doesn't care or not they do just sometimes that they gotta love you from afar um i hope everybody is doing good in their life um and until i can get to the point to where I'm good and healed because, you know, Monday is when we're doing her funeral services, so that's hard. Um, it's just so much going on. Like, you know, like when you have so many thoughts and you just, you don't know how to put them all together to make it make any sense that's pretty much where I'm at but anyway I want to say thank you guys and hopefully this gives you some insight as to where I am mentally physically and spiritually at this point and once again to anybody out there dealing with addiction go get help there are so many different programs out there that offer help and will get you on the right track so other than that thank you guys and